Hey guys, this is Patrick from CNC Labs. Today we're going to be making a custom table for Curate Vintage Clothing Store in Guelph, Ontario. We'll be using a long mill to cut their logo into the material and filling it in with some epoxy. We have an image for them to put into the table and we'll be using easel from Invincibles to create the G-code. If you're not familiar with easel, it's a web-based program that's great for 2D projects like cutting signs and shapes. We'll start off by logging into the easel program. If you don't have an account, make sure to make one. Once you're in, we'll create a new project. You can rename the project by clicking on the title. Next, we'll set our machine. For the machine, set it to other and model long mill. You can also change the work area. In this case, it will be 30 by 30. For spindle control, we will keep it to manual. Next, we'll go ahead and import our design. We have an image, so we'll do an image trace. Let's import the image file first. Since the image we have is black and white, any threshold will work, but if you have a grayscale or colored image, you may need to adjust the setting. For smoothing, since we have a pretty high quality image, we should be okay with the default smoothing setting. However, if you have a lower resolution image, you may find that changing your smoothing settings may improve your quality. Once that's all set, press import and you'll see the image appear ready to go. Drag and select all the features and we'll set the depth that we want to cut this to. We don't need to cut very deep, an eighth of an inch should be sufficient as we are going to be filling this up with epoxy. Our cut path will be clear out a pocket since we want to cut a pocket for the whole logo. Next, we'll click on the shape tab. This lets us manipulate the size and shape of the design. Since we're going to cut our design into a circular table, it will most likely be easiest to do our cut from the center. To move our design to the center, we'll set the coordinate point of the selected design to the center by clicking on the center bubble. Then for the position, we'll set that to zero, zero. At this point, the center of the design should be in the center of the workspace. Next, we're going to change the size. We have a 31 and a half by 31 and a half round table. So we will fill the logo up about 24 inches to give ourselves a little bit of a border around everything. You can change the size of the logo by typing in the dimensions into the two boxes for X and Y. At this point, let's set our cut and bit settings by going to the top left corner. You want to use a quarter down cut bit for the cutting. If you don't see it listed, you can create a custom tool by inputting the diameter. For our cut, our cut speeds, let's go with 60 inches a minute feed rate, 15 inches a minute plunge rate, an eighth of an inch for a depth of cut, so there will only be one pass to cut the design out. You can click on the button Simulate Cut to see a visualization of the cut in the estimated time. For us, it should take about 40 minutes. From here, we're going to export the G-code. You can do that by going to Machine, Advanced, Export G-code. This will create the G-code file that we can use to send to the machine. One thing to note is that if you install the drivers and such for easel driver, you can control your machine directly from the browser. Last time we tested it, you can actually get it to work, but there are some features that are missing that UGS platform has. So since we set our origin point at the center, we'll make sure to find the center of the circle and set our zero point there. Make sure to zero your machine as well and double check that the card can go to the extremities of the G-code by checking with the visualizer. Once you're sure everything is set up right, start up the router and start cutting. Here you can see Andy putting the legs on the table. Winner, Ganyo. Here Andy's mixing the resin with the color. Make sure to follow the instructions on the bottle.
sure to pour it in carefully. A nice even pour. Make sure you're patient. Here when using a butane torch to get out the air bubbles. It's me, Andy, and Patrick on the way to Guelph right now to bring curated vintage the uh, the new table. So we got like a what 25 minute drive. Yeah. Yeah. So peace. We just pulled in. Woo! Let's get it. Being a fashionista. Very nice. Labs made this sink. Great vintage custom table, uh, table from the store. So that's pretty cool. That's